This one's for all the Christians out there that I know and love who would like to see abortion stopped. I uh, I think it's about time we go real deep and truly go the right route in overturning Roe v. Wade. How's that sound? All right, let me begin by telling you a quick story. A good many years back when I was teaching law to my listeners in ways that in ways that were waking a lot of people up to how evil our world is, I got a phone call from some of my supporters in Alaska. And they were very confident that they had found a way to overturn Roe v. Wade. But they needed law expertise in the courtroom. So I was chosen to be called. And they said, Dwayne, please come up to Alaska. We'll pay your way. We'll get you a hotel room and everything for as long as it takes. We have an idea on how to overturn Roe v. Wade. But we need someone with law expertise like yourself up here to help us. I said, well, I said, your motives are very noble. You've got all the right ideas here. You you want to go to the Supreme Court and overturn Roe v. Wade. I, I see that you definitely got some wonderful ideas here. But let me tell you before you go even further that it's not going to work. And this fellow's heart sank. You could hear it in his voice. He said, why? What do you mean? Almost like in complete desperation. What, what do I have wrong here? Well, actually, his phone call prompted me to put together a flyer shortly thereafter that explains why not. And let me just read you some of the stuff on the flyer so that you'll get a rough idea of what I told him and how he quietly backed away, realizing that he hadn't thought about something. And you can still get this flyer on our website, by the way. At the top of my flyer, it says, Can we overturn Roe v. Wade? Well, no, not without a miracle. And nor will our Heavenly Father help us do so either as that law is but an integral part of the very same evil system that this nation, at the same time, foolishly praises and idolizes above that God. So in essence, you're going to a heathen court in front of a heathen judge who is sworn to uphold heathen laws based on a heathen constitution that hides a heathen corrupt system and in a now heathen nation, no less. And you're going to expect that heathen judge or a biblical God to help you? Look at the battleground you've chosen. It's all completely heathen. You've approached him, his bench, his law system, appealing to him in his position as ambassador for a heathen system asking him to be biblical. You're asking him to follow morals that a Christian government would put in place, but you're standing in a heathen government asking for permission to do so. How could that heathen judge or a biblical God help you? The heathen judge will laugh at you, and the biblical God will be angry with you. Now, Matthew 6.33, folks. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, the government of Yahweh and his morality. Seek that first. Put that into place first. And then all other things shall be added unto you. Then these things shall be added unto you. In the meantime, your wicked heathen court systems are going to make sure that they slaughter babies. You see, today's infanticide is a judgment upon nations who cast away the law of Yahweh, being a judgment upon those who remain joined to such systems of idolatry. 
and therefore upon those peoples who bring this upon their own children. Now, that's basically the heading for the flyer. And I'm basically just going to read it to you, and I'll go even deeper today in ways that I didn't go back then. Let me quote Isaiah 5.24. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble, and the flame consumeth the chaff, so the root shall be as rottenness, and their blossom, meaning their offspring, shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts, and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Hmm. In other words, folks, the father saying, I can't help you with your children in your land because you've cast away my law and have kicked me out of your land. But that's not the only passage that woke me up many years back as to how our attachment to the system enables these Satanists to murder babies, stabbing unborn babies in the back of the neck before they're born. Partial birth abortion. But more clearly, it is shown right in the Ten Commandments, folks, that the Father himself will not be able to bless the children of those who choose a life of sin and idolatry. And there's good reason for that. Such nations have literally kicked him out as king, lord, and thereby protector over their children. Read this one. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity or the lawlessness of the fathers upon the children under the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Yet he'd show mercy unto thousands of them that love him and keep his commandments. That means those that would keep his system of law, not man's. Now that's from Exodus chapter 20, verses 3 through 6, which is what? Maybe you've heard that before. That's the second commandment. The Father not only can't help us with our children, but in fact has to allow Satan to inspire those of us who do not have a heart of the Father to do this to our babies, and to even provide the doctors that do it, and to provide security for these doctors who want to do it, and to provide the nurses that help him, and everything. Because the Father can't protect us or our babies anymore, because we have chosen to kick him out of our lives. We have chosen not to go by his law system, and we're going by a God called We the People. Isaiah 13 says, Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eye shall not spare children. How is it that we who praise, idolize, and even wallow in the laws of man, the U.S. Constitution and its benefits, what have you, then arrogantly expect Yahweh to help save our children from the evils come of that very same unbiblical law system that we've completely replaced his Bible with? Think about it. If we're registered voters, if we signed our name on a piece of paper saying, yes, check this box, I'm a citizen, of the United States of America, then we're thereby technically endorsing this system over the Bible. And we're official partners in the very machine that's doing this to these innocent, unborn children. The whole system is wicked, folks, being based on the religion of humanism. That's why voting and signing these papers can only make it more evil with each passing election, as it's based on a constitution 
that was Masonically written to intentionally take us away from God's law, his protections, and his mercies. Now here's why it's on my deeper sections, my hidden sections, as we, some are calling it. Could you act as the nurse who aids the abortionist when he needs someone to hand him the scissors? The scissors that he stabs these babies in the back of the neck with? Could you stand there and, when he says, nurse, scissors, could you stand there and hand him the scissors? Oh, but you are. If you have a social security number, if you openly and willingly have ties to this beast system, you are making sure the doctor has everything he needs to perform his evil, sadistic act, his murder of these innocent babies. Or maybe you don't prefer being a nurse. Maybe you'd rather be a security agent, a well-armed officer standing at the door guarding him to make sure he can perform this without interruption. You couldn't do that either? Oh, but you are. All of you men out there who have social security cards, you're making sure that the military, the police, will guard these people who, by the we the people law system, allow these sick and twisted doctors to murder all day long. Everybody with a social security number is an accomplice in this infanticide. Everybody who takes benefits by pinching incense unto Caesar in our time, your signature, the sign of your nature says, I support the we the people laws that allow for infanticide. I also support the laws that allow for sodomy. And what's next? Bestiality? Outright murder of your neighbor? Should he run over your petunias accidentally with his lawnmower? Every time you are asked for that social security number and you willingly and happily give it to somebody, rattle it off from memory because you've done it so many times before. Every time you do that, remember, you're handing that doctor a pair of scissors or your arms are folded at the door, guarding that doctor. As an innocent baby is being ripped to shreds in its mother's womb. Every one of you that continues to take benefits from the system, a voluntary system that doesn't mandate that you're a part of it, nowhere is there a mandate for the Social Security, nowhere is there a mandate that you have a birth certificate. Nowhere is there a mandate that you have a driver's license. Nowhere is there any mandates for any of these things. And there's lots more. Every one of you that signs up to pinch incense unto Caesar has become a baby killer. There's no neutral ground between the Father's laws and Satan's laws, because Satan's laws are man's laws. If the Father inspires us to write laws based on his Bible, all we have to do is copy them. Those who don't want to go by those laws and would rather write their own are following Satan's law system, which is do what thou wilt is the whole of the law. If you're not following one kingdom and its government and its laws, then you're in the other jurisdiction of which Father's laws are by his Bible. Satan's laws are by his humanist government systems worldwide. Which jurisdiction, which law system do you owe your allegiance to? Are you for the baby killers? Or are you for the baby Father's law protects the innocent. Man's law destroys the innocent for the convenience 
of the sinning, lustful Satanist. And yes, you might call yourself a Christian. But if you have a social security number, if you have any serious ties to the beast, that you have signed your name, put the sign of your nature on a document that says you are a U.S. citizen, you are in effect lawfully, legally, technically, and in the Father's eyes saying, I am pinching incense unto Caesar. I am claiming Caesar as my God. I am claiming Caesar as my lawgiver, my legislator, and thereby your allegiance is to that God. You're an official accomplice in sodomy, baby killing, and tons of other wicked and disgusting things that are coming out of our Congress nowadays. If this offends you, I didn't write the Bible. And I didn't write the Constitution. I just know the difference. Because I did what the Bible said. Study to show yourself approved. Look all around you. Watch thou in all things. Walk circumspectly. I compared their documents to the Bible and that document. I studied to show myself approved rather than watch a football game. Rather than watch some stupid sitcom on television. Rather than bury myself in pornography on the net. Because I, more than the anti-abortionists who will go back to their 501c3 church and pretend to be Christians, I go all the way and stand next to my father, letting him know that I'm in his corner with his law system. Please help us stop this infanticide. Please help me wake people up to the fact that their attachment to that system of evil is helping to keep Roe v. Wade prosperous. When Christians that I've talked to tell me how much they're against abortion and I tell them these things, they almost always end up angry at me. Rather than say, you know, you're right, that makes sense. Because they'll block it out. They want the really evil abortion doctor to quit stabbing the baby in the back of the neck. But they keep handing him the scissors. They keep guarding the door for him. And then they put their hands over their eyes and say, Oh, this is so awful. This is so inhumane. It's so evil. Brothers and sisters, those claiming to be in Christ, please take the time. Study this. It's very simple. Satan has deceived us into killing our own children. By giving a thumbs up to Caesar with our signatures, we have become the enforcement arm for this act. And it needs to stop. In the name of Yeshua, all glory to Yahweh above. I thank and praise him for everything he's doing to teach us these new things. As we come out of the bondage. When he promised that he'd give the saints the inheritance of the earth. Hallelujah. Thank mm-hmm. you.